Hello everyone, this is Nicholas. After spending the weekend with my brand new Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, I want to give you my opinion about this premium laptop. Without further ado, let's get started. Because I'm an architect by profession, so please allow me to start by talking about the design of this laptop first. I'm extremely picky in terms of design aesthetics. But when I first opened the box, I was very impressed by it. From the color choice to the material selection, I still can't find a single flaw in it. It is designed in details to perfection. It is not only pleasant to look at, but also very satisfying to touch. In terms of design, I will rank it at the top tier like Apple's MacBook Pro and Dell's XPS laptops. It definitely feels like a premium laptop. Huge shout out to Samsung's design team. They totally nailed this one. Next, we have to talk about the display. This is the first time that Samsung brings its signature AMOLED display from its widely popular Galaxy cell phones to the laptops. Although the display is only in 1080p Full HD, but with the AMOLED technology, it just looks like a 4K display to me. Compared to a regular LED display, the AMOLED display gives you way better color, brightness, and contrast. The dark looks darker, and the white looks whiter. This allows you to even see the screen clearly, even under direct sunlight. However, because the screen is a glossy one instead of non-glossy, you do get glare when you are using it outdoors. Anyways, with the AMOLED display, Samsung now can compete with Apple's Retina display, putting it one step closer for a head-on battle with Apple's MacBook Pro laptops. Next, we have to talk about the weight of this laptop. Samsung Galaxy Book Pro comes in two different screen sizes, the 13.3 inch one and the 15.6 inch one. The one I bought is the heavier 15.6 inch one, which is only 2.31 pounds. It is the lightest high-end laptop that I have ever owned. You have to really hold it on your hand to be impressed by how light it is. This is a laptop that I will feel comfortable holding with one hand and walk one mile down the street to the nearest Starbucks without putting it in my backpack. Next, we have to talk about the battery life. Samsung claims that the battery life of the Galaxy Book Pro can last 20 hours. It is a very impressive number, considering how slim and light this laptop is. After my laptop is fully charged, I continue to work on the laptop without charging it, and with occasional power up and power down to simulate real life use. The brightness of my screen was set to 50% most of the time. I spent one third of the time browsing the internet, one third of the time watching videos in full screen, and one third of the time editing my YouTube videos. The battery dropped pretty fast in the very beginning, giving me some doubt whether it could fulfill Samsung's claim on the battery life. At the end when the battery dies, it gave me about 18 hours screen time. Although it falls short from the 20 hours promised land, 18 hours is still a very impressive number. For human, we all need at least a couple hours to sleep every night. So it is fair to say that Samsung's Galaxy Book Pro can offer you a full day battery life with a full charge. Next, let's talk about the ports. While many laptop manufacturers are trying to strip off as many ports as possible and tell you that wireless connection is the future. Unfortunately, the future is not here yet. 
Luckily, the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro is packed with many ports. First of all, it has one Thunderbolt 4 port which also serves as the power inlet for charging. It also has a USB Type-C port, a HDMI port, a headphone and mic combo jack, a USB 3 port, and a micro SD card slot. These together allow you to connect to virtually any external devices such as printers, hard drive, monitors, etc. This is a laptop that is designed for the future with the present in mind. Next, let's talk about the hardware. The one I bought is the 15.6 inch model in mystic blue color. It has Intel's latest 11th generation i5 CPU, 8GB of RAM, and 500GB of solid state drive. Unlike HP and Dell, Samsung doesn't let you fully customize your laptop. If I want to upgrade to 16GB of RAM, I have to upgrade the CPU to i7 as well. There is no either or. You have to chip in an additional $200 for both. Also, there is no option to upgrade to an 1TB solid state drive for the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. It is only available to the higher end Pro 360. If you think you can do a DIY upgrade after getting the laptop, you may have to think again. The entire bottom is a single piece of carbon fiber without a visible screw. It is clear to me that Samsung doesn't want you to open up the laptop, not to mention that doing any DIY upgrade will generally void your one-year standard warranty that comes with your purchase. If laptop customization is a deal breaker for you, this Samsung Galaxy Book Pro may not be your best fit. My biggest disappointment about this laptop is the webcam. Webcam becomes an essential part of our lives after the pandemic for both professional and personal connections. We are in the year 2021 now, but Samsung thinks it makes perfect sense to just give you a half HD webcam in 720p instead of a full HD 1080p one. I can't even wrap my head around it considering that you can easily get a full HD webcam for as low as 10 bucks from eBay. The Samsung Galaxy Book Pro is branded as the premium laptop and it comes only with a 720p webcam. It is simply a joke to me. The other thing that I don't like very much is the bezel around the display. Samsung did a fantastic job minimizing the top and side bezels, but leaving the bottom bezel almost an inch wide is simply mind-boggling to me. Although most laptops on the market have an even wider bottom bezel, but Dell's latest XPS laptops already minimize the bottom bezel to be as thin as the rest. That means the technology is already there that you don't really need a wide bottom bezel in order for the display to work. For a premium laptop that is branded as the future, having a wide bottom bezel is so yesterday. Alright, these are my first impressions after spending the weekend with my Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you are getting any value from this video, please do me a favor and smash the like button below. And if you are interested in watching more similar contents in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Last but not least, Amazon is still giving out a $100 gift card for purchasing the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro or Pro 360. I have the link in the description below. Using the affiliated link to purchase will not add any cost at your end, 
but it will greatly help my channel financially. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.